Hey guys, it's the Fact Freak over on YouTube. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about my mission statement. Now, if you were watching the podcast that dropped on Monday uh, with me and Stan Blade, uh, you'll know a little bit about what I'm talking about. And if you haven't watched that, please go watch it because it was a really good interview um, and it sort of, you know, gets you ready for this. Now, my mission statement, as I said, is all about raising awareness to people that I think that people should know about. So, for example, um, obviously we've had Sasha Fontaine recently and that's who's going to be the main and final focus um, of her in this video. That's what I'm hoping. Um, it's about ra raising awareness. It's about raising awareness. Now, somebody like Sasha Fontaine obviously has been reaching out to people that don't actually know her and telling them all about the big bad bully, the fact freak. And those people are not coming on to here. They're not checking out the deep dives. They're not seeing that everything I've said has been evidence. They are caught with their emotions, which we can all sort of empathise with. I thought, this, somebody's being bullied and picked on. I'm going to go blindly and defend them. Um, so, you know, that happens. My report was mass reported. I've already shown evidence of that over on the Fact Freak Instagram. Uh, and currently it's under suspension, uh, being reviewed. Now, I just want to show you guys what a successful deep dive outcome looks like. Let's go for it. Now we'll jump first of all into my Instagram inbox. But of course I'm going to keep some of these details private. Now here's a message I received over at April the 8th at 9.09am. Really hope you don't mind me asking. So as a lot of us have been bullied and scammed by the vile Sasha Fontaine, I'm looking to post on Tattle Life and I have no clue as how I can comment, reply to the posts. I will understand if you don't reply. Now I was able to tell that person I don't post there, but I use some info from there if it is backed up by evidence. But of course, this was somebody stretching, reaching out and saying, I have also been victimised by Sasha Fontaine. Now the next image here is obviously another inbox message there. Hello lovely, I'm an avid follower of you and used to follow Miss Fontaine. I've seen all your deep dives which are actually brilliant and you have shown her for what she really is. I looked at her Sharon brother on Facebook today and wanted to send you some of the screenshots of the absolute tat she has put up for sale. I think you'd have a laugh. Now, I'm not asked what sort of tat she's selling. Uh, <laughs> but what I am interested in is the fact that you used to follow Sasha Fontaine and that you've watched the deep dives and now you've seen the evidence. A follower you are not anymore, for sure. Here's another one. Really, myself and others were previously friends of Sasha Fontaine, a.k.a. SB. We remained silent since last year. We've seen your YouTubes. Thank you for raising awareness to one of TikTok's most malicious and nasty evil creators. I mean, if that is an awareness right there and somebody feeling validated as well, um, that somebody's sticking up and for them. Now here's somebody else here. At first she was funny and very watchable in a strange way. And I was fascinated by her and her lifestyle. She followed me, but I never followed her. Then she made me a moderator, which was laughable, as there was no way I was interested in doing that. Now, of course, we'll move on to Facebook. And even there, the deep dive has been shared so many times. And it looks like in groups uh, that where people have known Sharon Fontaine for a long time. Uh, I haven't included some of the comments on here because I have not, you know, verified them, but there's been people who have claimed to have worked for her, known her, more and more awareness right there. 
someone has even set up a group for people on Facebook who have been wronged by Sasha Fontaine. And imagine that group's going to grow with more awareness, more discussion, more people sharing their story. And of course, on TikTok, you use the hashtag Sasha Fontaine or you look up Sasha Fontaine, you will be met with video after video after video of people raising awareness of the vile things that this woman has done. Honestly, before my main account went under suspension, there was over 1 million views on the hashtag and it was all videos like this. And now you can see with mine removed, there's still so many without mine there. So many. You can't deny that is awareness that wasn't there before. Now let's bring it over to here on YouTube. Now I'm highlighting some comments in YouTube sections on various videos that I've done on there. So the first one here, so thankful for you doing this. As someone who also has to use a catheter sometimes, I am grateful that you have brought to light how nasty this woman actually is. She's vile and deserves everything she gets. You're amazing. Never stop doing what you do. I just want to say to that person here, I will never stop. I will never stop. Um, but once again, that, that brings so much joy to me, knowing that somebody, you know, who is personally affected by the things Sasha said about the use of catheters and things like that, it resonated with somebody. Like I say, it's just more awareness. I mean, look at those uh, comments there. The fact that these comments have so many likes, um, so many people agreeing and seeing the comments. Fantastic. The second one here, the top comment highlighted. Thank the Lord you outed this individual. That poor lady has been left with life-changing issues due to cancer and she mocked her and the seriousness of her condition. These imbeciles don't seem to realise the implications of spreading lies. Now I've got to say that was so eloquently and so well put. It is 100% why it is important to raise awareness in the way that these videos, I believe, have done. Now the second one there at the bottom, she is such a nasty woman. I've sat back and watched her and realised she loves drama and making it. I had to stop following her. The lies and how she trips herself up with the story she tells. To think I used to like her. I saw her through, thank goodness, a total bully and tells lies. I mean, what better awareness is that of one of her own followers who sat there and thought, this doesn't add up. Right, here's another comment. I used to follow her. Then she started putting people down and started falling out with lots of people. So it made me feel she was maybe the problem. And I think that's what a lot of people have started to realise about Sasha Fontaine. Another one here. I used to feel sorry for her with all of the tattlers on her case. But wow. She really is a piece of work. Now that one's got to be a personal victory for everybody who uses tattle, as Sasha is constantly saying that those people lie about her. However, I've used a lot of evidence that was provided from tattlers, and even somebody on the outside here realises that actually, after seeing all of that, I know who the real problem is, and it ain't the tattlers. There's two on this one I want to concentrate on. Autumn Leaf said, I used to follow her because I felt sorry for her. But when she said about that lady who had cancer, it was beyond disgusting. The nail in the coffin was when she said what she said about you without a shred of evidence. It could have put you and your kids in danger and that is inexcusable. Bang out of order, Sharon. You need to make a public apology to both these people. I couldn't agree more. I think I'll be waiting a long time, however, for my apology. 
but I'm glad that the things that she has said, not just to myself, but to others, have been raised and people are aware of that. Now, the second one on this one says, I thought she was a decent, honest person, but I clearly now see her for what she is. This is the thing, you see, people cannot argue with facts. They cannot argue with facts. That's why I still have my job in it, Sasha. It's why I still don't have the police knocking. Because it's factual. Everything is factual in these videos. You can't argue with it. And neither can your blind supporters. Now here's the final one. I used to follow this person, but I found her bossy, rude, liar. Always swearing, very rude. Insulted people who offered the hand of help. She bit my head off on a live and I'm not on TikTok to get insulted. Watch her bully people. What is so sad is she doesn't know what she's doing. It's quite a horror show, and it's frightening. I could not agree more. It is frightening that somebody will say the things that she does, lie the way she does, and not hold her hands up and take responsibility for what she has done. Anyway, guys... That should hopefully put this whole Sasha Fontaine crap to bed. This will hopefully be my final video on the lady, both title, but the lady Sasha Fontaine. Now that doesn't mean that if somebody does something horrific in the future that I can't revisit and re-expose. However, I do believe this has been mission successful. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Is admission successful? Or have I failed? Peace.